today, let's talk Cubase by answering the following question. Hello, Chris, can you please make a video about how to set up the talkback feature in Cubase from A to Z? You bet I can, and this is what I'm gonna do in today's video. Hey, what's up, my friend? Chris Salim here from Mixdown Online. Very excited to jump back in Cubase and talk to you about this very cool feature that we have from the control room in Cubase that is called the Talkback. And since we're talking about recording in Cubase, I just want to let you know that if you want to dive deeper in recording in Cubase, I have an amazing course that I'm relaunching in the next few days. So keep your eyes on your emails because this course is going to come out at a very special price. And seriously, this is a huge course, the biggest course I worked on so far. So if you want to improve your recording skills to bring your music productions to the next level by using Cubase, you are definitely going to enjoy this one. Now, setting up a talkback microphone in a recording session is very useful, especially when the musician you're recording is outside your control room. So this way you can communicate from the control room straight to the musician's headphone mix through the talkback microphone. Now you can set up your talkback microphone straight from your interface's software or by using an interface like this one, the Audient, like most Audient IDs series will offer a built-in talkback feature. But we also have a talkback feature in Cubase Pro where you can use talkback straight from Cubase. And this is usually what I do on my side. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do here is to open the audio connections window. So you just go on top under studio, click on audio connections or click on F4 on your computer keyboard. Then you'll have to make sure that the control room is active. And again, this is a Cubase Pro feature only. The control room is not available in Cubase Artist and below. But in Cubase Pro, uh, you go on audio connections, you click on the control room tab, you activate it, and this will bypass your outputs. An output bus needs to be created for a control room to work, but it needs to be empty, basically not connected. And then from the control room, this is where you set up your uh, monitor. But I already made a video on this and that I'm gonna link uh, below if you wanna go watch it. And what you need to do once you have the control room set up, uh, you need to create yourself a talkback channel by just clicking on add the channel on top and click on Talkback. I already have one on my side and it's right here. And this one is using the first microphone preamp out of my audio interface, AXR4 Mic 1. And I have this microphone uh, connected to this preamp. That's simple. You can use any type of microphone. I usually go with the cheapest microphone I own because audio quality doesn't matter when it comes to a talkback microphone. So you just simply add your input channel as device port. Then you're gonna have to have a Q1 channel active or several Q channels, depending on how many musicians you work with. But in my case, I'm gonna use one for today's video. And mine is set up to output three and four out of my interface. So you create yourself a Q channel, you route that out to a stereo output or a mono output, whatever, uh, whatever you feel fit. Uh, and then then you close the control room and from Cubase on the right zone, you are gonna go on top and click on CR, which stands for control room and we'll have uh, all the features available from the control room. And I'm just gonna focus on the talkback for today's video. So at the bottom, we have the talkback that we can activate, okay? By clicking on it, it's gonna turn green, that means that the talkback is now active. But first, we need to make sure that the talkback is active on Q1. And there it is. Okay, so we have the enable talkback to Q channel. Make sure this one is active. Then we have a talkback level, okay? That comes after the preamp level of your interface. So that is another place where you can adjust the level. Then at the bottom, if we go at the bottom of the control room, we have the talk dim. And the talk dim uh, is very useful. While the music is playing, the dim is gonna be used to bring down the level of the music while the talkback is active. 
okay? And you determine how much you want the music to be turned down when you activate the talkback. That is the talk dim. So just to test it out, so I'm gonna talk straight into the microphone and let me put on my headphones first. And the signal you're gonna hear will come from my Q1 mix, okay? And uh, there you go. Now you can hear myself talking through this microphone straight on Q1. You see the levels on top here. Uh, my talkback is active. And uh, let's play some music. I'm gonna deactivate talkback. And uh, let's play some music. If I click on talkback, now the volume, the music volume is brought down because of my talk dim level. Okay, so that's actually very, very practical when you want to talk to the musician you work with while the music is playing, okay? Uh, so this is how you set that up. If I go into the, under the insert tab, I also have the uh, talkback level right here going on. And you know what? You can actually add some effects on your talkback if you want to. This is something I actually never did. <laughs> but if you wanna add a reverb, you wanna add some EQ compression on your talkback signal, you can add up to eight effects if you want to. But again, I never did. Now, once you have your talkback all set up and ready to go, you know, the best would be to probably have like a small uh, mic stand right here, you know? Let me go grab one. There you go, so now I have the talkback microphone on my little stand here. This is the kind of stuff that I use when and recording with an artist. So this one wants me to hold the microphone every time I wanna use the talkback to talk to the artist I work with. Very useful. Now, something that I always do is to set myself a key command as a shortcut on my computer keyboard. So this way it makes it way easier to activate the talkback while I'm recording instead of keeping my mouse pointing to the talkback straight in the control room. I just use my key command, makes it way easier. To set that up, it's very simple. You go up to edit, down to key commands, and under the control room folder, you will see talk back on and off. And just assign this to a key out of your computer keyboard, and you're good to go. I also use my Monogram CC controller uh, to control my talkback. Okay, so by pressing this button here, uh, that will activate or deactivate the talkback straight from Cubase. And I use MIDI CC to control this uh, straight from the uh, Monogram CC. So if I go into uh, studio setup, I go down to generic remote. This is what I created for my Monogram CC. And I'm using like a few MIDI CC commands uh, to be controlled by uh, my Monogram CC. And TalkBack is one of them. So I have the TalkBack set up to controller uh, and the address is for so this is important, uh, so I note that down. Now the exact number doesn't matter much. I set it up to 40 uh, since I don't use that uh, MIDI CC for anything else. And the maximum value stays to 127. And the, uh, the flags is set up to receive. Then uh, from the command section down below, the control name stays to talk back. The device goes to command because I'm actually gonna add a command to that MIDI CC. Uh, and then I have a control room like I did with my key command. So it goes under a control room and then I have all my actions part of this control room feature. And the talk back on and off is listed. I select it and that's it, you know? So this is my part from Cubase. Now from the Monogram CC software and that will be the case for any controller software that you uh, that you want to assign a MIDI CC command uh, to. Uh, in my case, I have it set up to this key right here. So I click on it and I set that up to MIDI CC for the controller MIDI mode. And the number is 40 like I had on my Cubase. And that's it, that's what I need to do and from this point, like I already showed you, if I click on this uh, key right here from the Monogram CC, that activates or deactivates uh, my talk back. Now, if you want to know more about the Cubase control room, I'm going to encourage you to watch this video where I share with you how I use the control room in Cubase. Don't forget to share, like if you enjoyed this video, and also to subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Until next time, take care and see you.